VR in 2020 has been amazing, but what are gonna be the future trends and where are we heading in 2021? Apparently, collectively, we've all spent a whopping 1.1 billion US dollars this year. However, due to COVID-19, a lot of supply chains were actually affected. So it's very possible that without the coronavirus, we could have done even better. Content publishers and game development studios have been taking advantage of this wrath of people staying at home to keep the likes of you and me, as well as if you have kids, entertained as much as possible. In fact, if you go to Steam and do a search for the keywords VR, you will notice that there are pages after pages of search results for titles that were released during 2020. The most notorious title that has come out this year and really brought things to another level includes Half-Life Alyx, which was developed by Valve. This is because the graphics and the level of detail inside this gameplay really are amazing. And even though most game development studios can't really afford to create a title similar to this one, it's really gonna push the boundaries to the cliff edge moving forward. Other new releases during 2020 that have made an impact on the VR industry include Stride, Supernatural, and also Beat Saber with the rendition of the 360 and multiplayer mode. VR fitness this year has completely exploded and these games make use of the whole body in a very innovative way, especially also as Supernatural have introduced a new subscription-based business model where basically people have to pay monthly fees to access different areas of the game. Let's not forget that Microsoft very recently released the VR mode of Flight Simulator 2020, really bringing VR flight sim and travel to the forefront of VR blurring the metaverse with reality. Other favorites that made an impact this year include Population One, Down the Rabbit Hole, Ghost Giant, The Wizard Dark Times, The Walking Dead Onslaught, Phasmophobia, Paper Beast, Star Wars Squadron, and so many more we have indeed been very spoiled with tons of content this year. But 2020 has really enabled VR to grow beyond the realms of gaming. For example, who can forget this mother in South Korea who was reunited with her long lost daughter in the studio? That was pretty incredible news. Well, NASA rewarded Varjo, who created the world's most technologically advanced VR headset, are using their devices to train their astronauts to go to Mars, the moon, and beyond in the realm of the universe. And Pico Interactive, who this year were awarded by Forbes as having launched the world's best VR device for the enterprise industry, were actually assigned to work with various different hospitals across the world to launch the world's first VR telehealth clinic. And let's not forget that the events industry in VR has completely exploded this year, including Jean-Michel Jean concerts in VR chat, Lost Horizon, which was organized by the Glastonbury Festival guys, and also a new startup called Wave XR, which is really driving the momentum in VR entertainment forward. Brands are also turning more and more in VR. They're advertising themselves more in various different events, which are taking place in virtual reality, and also putting the logo placements inside of games. But but does this mean that the year of 2021 is going to be the year where we see ads absolutely everywhere, just like similarly when you're using a phone and you see banners popping up here and there during the gameplay? Or are we going to see titles where basically you have a countdown going for maybe 30 seconds where we get to see the ad and then the game will start, giving us the opportunity to either play the ad for a discount or for free, whilst if we don't want any ads of any kind, then the app will be at a premium. And undoubtedly, as the year unravels in 2021, more and more advertisers are definitely going to pump in more cash inside of virtual reality, which means that people like you and me are just going to have to be more patient and okay and hope that their ad value money is going to be for the best of VR. And of course, there are tons of other areas which have expanded exponentially this year, including cross collaboration with apps, including Meeting VR. Glue, Engage, Old Space, and so many more. But one of the areas that has really grown amazingly well is VR cinemas with big screen who have introduced new functionalities where people can come together from all over the world and watch a movie in a real virtual cinema together. And undoubtedly, you and I have been completely spoiled this year with the release of technology advances, including Guy Godin, who released the virtual desktop, and Pico Interactive, who also have their own software enabling you and I to be able to play our PC VR titles completely wirelessly. Talking about technology, we can also mention how accessories in virtual reality have exploded 
in 2020. Looking back, we can see, for example, that Cybershoes released new products making it easier and more fun for people to exercise and walk in virtual reality, as well as, for example, Euro, who released an application enabling people to be able to track their calories and fitness regime whilst they're playing VR titles. And of course, B Haptics, which released new innovations where you can basically feel a bullet hitting you or you can feel the touch of another human whilst you're in VR. And then finally, I think we can also thank the console wars between the Xbox and Sony PlayStation because it's really rated manufacturers, for example, Oculus and also HP, to release their VR devices perhaps sooner than they had anticipated. But while 2020 has been an incredible year, we can really be excited about 2021 because so much is going to happen. There are rumors, for example, that Apple will be releasing their much anticipated 8K beast whilst Valve have announced plans to release a wireless standalone VR headset, which might also change the game. And we're very much anticipating the new kids on the block who are going to be launching their new device called the Decker Gear. And of course, the former CEO of HTC, who is supposed to release the MOVA, its own rendition to the Oculus. And it could be some jokers thrown in the mix during 2021. For example, KFC Gaming, who are going to be releasing their much anticipated i9 9th gen chip by Intel gaming console, which will be VR ready. And it could be potentially very powerful in terms of graphics and also JVC who are working on the new enterprise VR headset. So let's let 2021 be open to a wide range of different possibilities. Facebook might have its run for its money in 2021, not just because it's been sued by 48 different states in the US and also the European Union and Australia for breaching antitrust and anti-competitive laws, or because it's forcing people to use the Oculus Quest 2 with a Facebook logging, but because Qualcomm, the chipset maker of all these various different VR headset devices, have signed an agreement with 30 different brands who are all going to be releasing AR, MR and VR devices throughout the year. But while Oculus Quest 2 has been deemed a marvel in technology throughout 2020, let's not forget that HP, who released at the end of the year the HP Reverb G2, are also competing quite closely with them as they are deemed the best PC VR headset in the market currently available today. And HP, even though it's been dugged by a plague of people complaining that the VR headset never reached their home in time or that other customers were receiving it before those who had actually pre-ordered, they actually did pretty well with an apology as providing $50 cash back to all those who are unhappy and fixing any issues with, for example, the tracking. So we can only expect the HP Reverb G2 to become better and better throughout 2021. There are going to be countless more titles coming out in 2021. We can expect, for example, Lone Echo 2, as well as The Climb 2, Baba Yaga, Lo-Fi, Vertical 2, and so many more. So in conclusion, the year 2020 has been phenomenal for the world of the VR industry, but not as exciting and phenomenal as it's going to be in the year of 2021. On this note, have a great new year and see you in the next video.